actually my exhibition here at the power plant is um, presenting uh, different works which deal with um, political traumas and individual traumas and uh, always in the light of uh, colonization, slavery and let's say the, what is at the core uh, legacy of the um, history of this continent where we are now because this continent is a colony. I'm, I'm very interested by ideas uh, of um, uh, keeping the thread with the genealogy of uh, our history. Why, why are we here and how come that we came here? And because uh, I think that the whole mass media systems today, even contemporary art, is uh, in a in terms of political uh, um, legacy such as colonialism or slavery, uh, denying what has really happened. Probably because also people don't want to hear about that. It's they are not nice things. Um, I mean, uh, both the descendant of the perpetrators and of the victim. Some of them don't, don't, don't want to hear about that, and I can understand. But I think what is important to, to, to keep, why is important to keep the thread is because uh, we cannot live in the present time or build a future without having always in mind for the, 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 let's say, the origin of the story. Why are we here? How it, how it worked? Because these injuries that have been created by such uh, violence of uh, killing, dispossessions of the land, dispossession of culture, of knowledge, are still open. They are just invisible, immaterial, but they are here. They are existing in the psyche of the um, human groups and of many individuals as well. And they have, they have mutated as well. Today, the frustration generated by uh, capitalism and neo neoliberalism on poor people is uh, uh, for me the continuity of the frustration which was generated, created, hegemonized even by the, um, the arrival of modernity in this land. There's an emergency to take care of this within the art world, within the artworks, within the, the sort of art narrative, let's say, <coughs> by both ethical and aesthetical uh, statements, both political and poetical statements. I think sometimes poetry can really help you to to uh, claim uh, repair uh, rather than uh, blind radical violence. I mean, I think the, 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 the idea of going back to the uh, original state is a modern uh, concept. I think traditional societies, when they were used to repair, they used to give to the broken object uh, a new aesthetic. That's why they left the staples, they left the injury visible. I think the whole, the whole uh, uh, illusion of modernity is that we can even control the injury and, 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 and erase it. That's why uh, uh, nowadays surgeons, plastic surgeons, remove the scars as well. What I want, uh, what, what, I, what I'm very happy to be, uh, uh, to have the opportunity to, 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 to say this through an exhibition at the power plant is, is because I've never had such exhibition in Canada. And, uh, and, for, and for me, it's a land that uh, definitely has been so far denying uh, the injuries of the past, still till now. And, uh, and, and these injuries, of the, of, of especially of colonizations here, are injuries that I know in my own I mean, deep psyche, because I'm, I'm, I come from a, cu a culture which was colonized during 132 years by French, and very violently. So uh, this echoes very much the, the, let's say, the ethos in which I want to be part, the ethos of the colonized people, the ethos of the dominated, repressed people. The, 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 and the, the ethos of the human groups who wants to live together.